photograph in which we were in love, caught in your eyes, waiting for the sunrise. I barely even knew who you were. What did you do? I didn't care, 'cause you were perfect. Welcome as well. to Upcycling Furniture uh, with Be Creative Art Hub. And uh, as you can see now, I'm sanding the top of the furniture and uh, I'm making sure that all the uh, old uh, top is um, nicely sand and all the uh, other surfaces are sanded properly. Uh, that would be easier later on for the paint to apply. I'm using 120 sander uh, paper, which uh, is not too much roughness, but it helps to may, uh, properly sand it out all the surface. After I sanded all um, furniture, I uh, started mixing chalk paint, uh, which is like pink and cream color and started with the light pink on top and uh, gradually was uh, making to the dark pink at the bottom. Um, it's up to you if you want to do this technique but for me I like to mix and uh, add layers of uh, colors. So uh, the top part I was using roller that I wanted to have a smooth nice surface for the top part and uh, uh, I used uh, two three layers uh, to make sure everything looks smooth and nice. Uh, the sides I also for first layer I rolled um, with the roller the, the paint but uh, the second layer I uh, used the brush and uh, with the brush it's easier to uh, if you want to do like some blending and using other colors so um, also brush is good to go in the corners and all the uh, you know places where it's hard to reach with the roller um, so as you can see here um, uh, I already started to apply darker pink um, f at the bottom of the legs and going towards the middle part of the sides. Um, I like to um, work uh, from the bottom and uh, meeting in the middle and the middle part then uh, it's um, gonna be nicely blended. Uh, as you can see here it looks like pretty dark and big contrast but remember that when the chalk paint dries, it really uh, fades out and almost looks like there is none of the blending uh, and different colors happening. Uh, so uh, keep that in mind and don't be afraid to get e e even darker. Um, so the second layer is done and uh, now I was working on the uh, drawers and uh, covering them all up. When uh, we let it dry for at least 24 hours for the, another layer to put on top and as you can see when it dries it really looks uh, very light and uh, a fading and a nice blend from the dark to light. Uh, so uh, when I uh, to apply the uh, the golden leaf and other decorations on top, it's good to use very fine sandpaper, the finest you can get, maybe one hundred eighty or some, uh, and. Uh, in the rolling movements, you know, just uh, uh, sanded the surface. It also helps uh, to uh, make it smooth surface and uh, 
re reduce the brush stroke uh, visibility so um, as you can see it looks really nice but try to be gentle no pressure uh, used for this uh, this sanding it's just to give it a little bit of a smoother surface to ready for the decorations so i uh, cut out from the wallpaper some buds and i apply barn uh, uh, matte uh, finish uh, from the fairy cheek uh, chalk paint uh, brand you can do uh, much part or other varnishes to use and um, it applies very uh, well and sticks very well and then on top i used again varnish to protect the paper from you know being uh, on the surface so uh, then i use gold leaf uh, which i use the same varnish um, uh, to apply on the furniture and uh, then on top of all when i done i just put couple layers of varnish again so uh, to keep it all strong and durable and uh, you know uh, protected from use um, also for the uh, handles um, is best uh, just clean them uh, to keep the nice bronzy look um, I really like the original handles so I didn't change them I just clean them with uh, the brush and this is the final look I hope you enjoyed it Thank you for watching, it's Be Creative Art Hub and Poppy and Pink Atelier. And uh, if you're interested, please subscribe for Be Creative Art Hub YouTube channel.